What's going on guys? Uh, with winter approaching here, I am starting to winter prep all the vehicles. Um, and I'm starting on the daily here. Since this is uh, the vehicle that I need to be the most reliable, I just get it all clean inside and out, uh, oil changes, tune-ups, stuff like that. Um, so today I wanted to do a video on what I believe is quite possibly the best interior spray on the market. Um, I actually continue to use the marine and recreational version of this, but it is Aerospace 303. Um, I recommend this to everyone that is asking what to use for UV protectant and something to you know, help their doors from cracking, fading, anything like that. Um, especially over in the F-body world, uh, those bodies are infamous for cracking. They're, the doors are infamous for cracking right up in here. I think you guys have seen mine, and then they crack down here. Same with the dash. So I use this. Um, it keeps them looking nice, uh, and you know I just I really think it does a good job on the on the interior, and it really helps to prevent fading. It can revive some of that old kind of dried out and s cracked and, s and just real rough uh, dash pads and stuff like that, such as in this car, and I'll show you guys that in a little bit. So I just wanted to show you guys today Aerospace 303, how I use it, and the results that I get. Um, like I said, this is my daily driver. I don't take the best care of it, I'll be honest. Um, but I do try to keep it clean you know, when I have time. So, Starting with Aerospace 303, if you read the back of the bottle, it tells you not to apply directly. So, you know, that means don't go like that. I do it all the time. I don't have an issue. Um, but for the sake of this video, since I don't want to lead you guys down the wrong path, we're going to spray it directly on the towel. Uh, I usually do three sprays or so. Start up top because this is the most exposed area. Get it on there, nice and heavy. I'm not sure how well you can see in the video, but you can definitely tell where it's done and where it's not done. Um, I think you can tell pretty good on the video. It's hard for me to tell. Camera's a little bit further away, but uh, it does initially leave a greasy finish on there. But in my opinion, that's nothing to. Uh, be worried about quite yet and you will see why. So there, I think I got just about everything. I don't know if you guys can tell on video, I'm going to switch over to my phone quick and get a little bit closer up. It is pretty greasy right now, so we'll show a close up. So close up with the light on it, you can see it's pretty pretty greasy, not as bad as when I first put it on. Um, usually what I will do is I'll let it sit for a little bit and then I'll come back with the other side of the towel and just give a quick wipe down to get everything every little bit of excess 303 off and as you guys can probably see it gets rid of 90% of that greasiness uh, it is a pretty slick product it's not too bad but it's slick so people tend to like that on leather seats so you can use it on leather uh, it tends to work pretty good in preserving that so we got the door covered um, I like a lot of dry see if any any spots look dry yet because sometimes just with uh, like this plastic or the vinyl um, it will dry out a little bit and you won't see it initially so get a good coat on there let it dry um, and then once it's dry you can see where there's there's lighter spots this door actually looks pretty good pretty clean door so I think we're good there let's uh, let's move on to the dash when I got this car the dash was uh, it was pretty dried out uh, I don't think it was maintained very well just more of a, a driver which um, you know, it is fairly common, especially if you're buying used. So, let's take a look at the dash and trying to get that a little bit cleaner. Alright guys, so I don't know how easy this one's going to be for you to see, but uh, just moving on to the dash right up in here. It's, uh, it's very dry. My car's actually really dusty right now, too, so we'll just wipe that off quick. So, it's not as bad now. It was pretty dry when I got the car. Um, so I'm just going to do the same process. I'll do a quick uh, quick little video so you guys can see what it looks like right now. So right up in there is where it's dry. It's quite a bit better now after using Aerospace uh, the last year and a half or so. But uh, pretty bland uh, surface and finish. So we're going to try and clean that up a bit with Aerospace. Alright, since this is a little heavier, I did put it, or since it's a little uh, more dry, I did put it on a little bit heavier. Uh, pretty heavy right now, but you can definitely see the difference before and after. 
Uh, so I'm going to wipe it back down, uh, try and make that a little less heavy. This is kind of the process that I use on it everywhere, heavy or not. So there we go. All cleaned up. Um, it's got a nice clean look and feel to it. As you can see, you can see where we did before. And you can see right where we did after, or where we haven't done yet. Um, pretty decent difference, especially if you look right where that light is. And just see, it's pretty dry before, still dry. Um, and then I don't know if you can see in the camera, it does look like some cracks in there, and I don't know if it just replenished it a little bit. It is vinyl, it's not leather. Um, but it looks like it did a pretty good job and made it look a little more alive. So that's that guys, uh, Aerospace 303. Uh, they do have an automotive one in a blue bottle now. I still buy the white bottle. I've had really good luck with it. It is for boats, so I don't know if the formula is stronger. I just prefer this one uh, because that's what I've used up until this point. So uh, I'm pretty confident in the fact that you guys will be satisfied with either the white bottle or the blue bottle. Just uh, make sure it's the, uh, there's, this is a protectant, and it says it's for boats, but it works pretty well for interiors as well. I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. Uh, so, I hope you guys found this video helpful, and I hope you guys can uh, try Aerospace out. They do have smaller bottles in this. I got a big one just because I use it quite a bit, and uh, I think I've had this for about a year and a half now, so it goes pretty far. Um, so yeah, I encourage you guys to check it out. Uh, if you guys have checked it out and you have uh, opinions that either match mine or differ, be sure to uh, comment below. Um, I appreciate you guys watching as always. If you guys have any ideas for new videos or any ideas for new products for me to try, be sure to comment below. I will definitely try them out. Uh, anytime you guys give me extra content that I can create, I appreciate that. So. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And if you look forward to more, please subscribe. Thanks, guys.